51% of Canadians are struggling to afford food, and those who can't ba cut back any further are being driven to their local food banks. But the government doesn't care. They're too busy blowing money on $7,000 a night hotel rooms or $54 million on a Rive scam. Okay. To pay for their scandals and secret backroom deals with the NDP, they want to raise taxes, further driving up the cost of basic necessities like food. Canadians can't afford this costly coalition. Will the Liberals end their inflationary spending? Here. No point of bringing politics into that. Every member of this House wants to make life more affordable for Canadians, Mr. Speaker. That's what we did. And I remind my colleague, like I said earlier this week, back in May, Mr. Speaker, I wrote to the Competition Bureau to ask them to do all the tools they have at their disposal to make sure there was no unlawful practice in the grocery market in Canada. More recently, Mr. Speaker, I asked them to launch an investigation, and I called the CEOs of a number of these food chains to make their part to help Canadians.